employee needs are changing, and to attract talent, companies need to offer more than just a decent paycheck. Professor Jan Emmanuel de Nerve from the University of Oxford is an expert in workplace happiness and well-being. The older generation did see work more as a transactional phenomenon. So you went to work for the salary and the paycheck, and then you had life outside. So there was this work-life, not necessarily balance, but work-life distinction. Whereas the millennials seem to think more in terms of work-life continuum. And thus, work also needs to be a pleasant place to be. Professor Deneuve is a scientific advisor and stakeholder in Butterfly AI, a digital platform which measures employee satisfaction in real time and then provides managers with bespoke training to help develop the skills required to manage and boost engagement in their teams. We're going to move away from these annual or quarterly massive well-being surveys that are typically well behind the curve and instead we'll be moving to something which is going to be much more technology-based, user-friendly and pulsing essentially the company on a weekly or bi-weekly or a monthly basis in terms of how the company is doing on a subjective, in a subjective level because we now know that that often predicts objective outcomes in say the quarterly reports or quarterly results. There's a, a definite return on investment if you will towards uh, trying to make the workplace a happier one. So we find in lab experiments that there's an 8 to 12 percent increase in productivity and so it does seem to impact the bottom line of firms in the longer run. Like it or not, technology is changing the way we work and experts believe there are challenges ahead for both businesses and the workforce. We are destroying jobs quicker than we've ever destroyed them before and we're creating them even quicker. We're creating job titles, job titles that seem commonplace today. Uh, we wouldn't have even been able to name them a year ago. Disruptive innovation is also going to um, dislocate a lot of people's jobs um, and so that none, some uh, will be replaced, uh, some will have to be skilled. New jobs will come in, in turn but I'm slightly negative on the outlook of what the job multiplier will be because of, say, artificial intelligence, big data revolution or automation and machines. Now is the time for businesses to evolve. There is probably only two things that you need to be focusing on right now. That is your people and your technology journey. If you're not embracing that, if you're not on that, um, you're going to be incredibly challenged in five years' time and the chances are you might not even be in business. Hi, I'm Arjun Kapoor. Thanks for watching The Edge. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes. And don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Live channel right here at the bottom of the screen.